On this episode of Break Stuff, Learn Something, we are going to be doing a tutorial on completing a transcription in Scrivener. The first thing you are going to want to do is open up Scrivener and start a new project. We will select the blank project option because we do not need any specific formatting for submissions. Give that blank project a file name that you can find easily later on. For this one, I am just going to title it Transcription Tutorial. In your new project, you're going to want to go to File, and then Import, and select Files. This option should take you to the, your file browser, where you can then find your audio files. What? That's not right. You are supposed to be able to find audio files through this method, but for some reason, the Windows version of Scrivener does not show you any audio files when using Import. In order to do this, you're going to want to open up your file browser and locate the file that you want to put in. Using the drag and drop method, you will be able to import it in. For this, we will then select the research folder and you will get an import file notification. Just click OK. When you twirl down on the research folder, you will see your audio file. With the audio file open in the editor, you are going to want to split the screen. I prefer to split horizontally, but you can do you. Then lock the audio file in the top panel so that you don't accidentally displace it. Adjust your panel heights, and then open your draft in the bottom panel. This will allow you to easily see your draft for the transcription while allowing you to control the audio. To begin transcribing your audio, there are a few shortcuts you're going to want to know. Because Scrivener runs all of the audio through the QuickTime engine, there is only one keyboard shortcut that really works for Windows, and that is Control Enter, acts as your pause and start button. Another helpful thing for playback of the audio is to make sure that this button here is highlighted. This backtrack will allow you to skip back approximately two to three seconds. That short skip back will allow you to catch anything that you missed during your transcription. Once your transcription is complete, you're going to want to export it. In order to export it, you're going to want to select the correct file in the binder and then go to File, Export, Files, and a dialog box will appear. Save the transcription under a name that you can find and select the appropriate extension. Export only the files that you would like and click Export. For this tutorial, I have exported it as a PDF. And as you can see here, my completed PDF transcript 